Hello, my fashionista. Is your girl Nadia Style? Oh wow! Uh, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, guys, it's been some time. I miss you guys. You know, I always tell you guys when I come. You know, actually, when I come on camera, it's like I'm seeing you guys and watching me, and we're talking. We are friends after all. Okay. But uh, anyway, I wanted to say thank you first for supporting me on the, this platform. Uh, it's been great here in YouTube. Um, I could have made it without you guys, of course. Yeah, but guess what? This is my first blog coming back to the US, of course. I did travel to Dubai. Um, I was gone for some time. For a minute, I thought Dubai was my new residence, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, but anyway, it was great. I'm telling you guys, I don't know so far for those of you who follow me on social media. Also, when I say social media, of course, like on you know, I'm mainly on Instagram. Um, if you dare, I have posted some things, and I think even here on my YouTube channel, I have not, guys, not even half of what I actually the content that I did in Dubai. But uh, um, I did a special unboxing for John Franco Ferry, of course. Well, I was in Dubai because I discovered they, they do have a standalone boutique um, in the Dubai Mall, of course. And then um, normally when I'm here in the US, I just uh, um, I either go to Newman Marcus or Bird of Goodman to order the John Franco Ferry because it's one of the designers that I love. But anyway, before, you know, uh, I start, you guys know I like to talk to you guys about like what I'm wearing today. Um, today I have on the couture, uh, of course, I don't know if you can see, but this is my couture Joanna Ortiz uh, blouse that I have on. And then I pair it, I just put my uh, Chanel, you know, big belt. Uh, yeah, of course, she's Chanel. And then um, in my ears, this is my uh, Heidi Dawes. Uh, I love her jewelry, very statement. When you want to really, uh, I call it like, uh, oh, when you want to be grand dame, huh? like that uh, grand dame, like the big dame that I am. <laughs> um, this is the kind of things that I wear. I think it's just very, you know, it makes really a statement what you're wearing. And then on my ears, of course, I have on my uh, little gold right up on it, uh, logo, uh, Balenciaga. Um, which one is this one here? Mm, this is here, my John RD. Yeah, but anyway, this is me uh, on my bottom. Actually, I don't know if you can see. I have on my John Franco Ferry wild leg pants. You guys know how I get down. Yeah. And on my feet, when I get a chance, of course, I will, uh, you know, take a picture so you guys can see. You guys, I think, will already guess who I'm wearing for my shoes. Eh? John, <laughs> John Vito Rossi. Huh? Yeah, of course. But anyway, with no further ado, let's talk. So on this blog uh, today, I wanted to do a, my uh, Dubai recap. And I wanted to talk about things that I'm loving for the season, the styles that I'm loving. So I'm going to be throwing in some of just... Uh, some uh, pieces that I did receive in my boutique that uh, actually I'm loving for this coming season. You know, it makes sense. The colorful, nice, elegant, um, as always, of course. Uh, I believe in elegancy. Um, I'm a woman of many styles. I think by now you can tell how I am. But uh, um, I wanted to be a little extra today, as always. You know, so that's why I got my uh, Joanna Ortiz puffy sleeve. And believe not, what makes this top is the, <laughs> the sleeves. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start with my hair. Um, let me bring you up a little bit. So my hair, you guys will not believe it. Yeah. I'm sure you will not guess. So over the years, uh, of course, I do wear, you know, weaves. Um, but with my weaves, I will do like, uh, you know, I don't like the glue. Um, yes, uh, I had a bad experience with the glue in the past uh, where it damaged my scalp and stuff like that. So I don't do glue. Um, I'm more sewing, you know, so, but again, it is a time consuming sometimes because I do most of the sewing myself because I know how to do them. Um, I mean, they do last for a long time. You wash them and you rub everything and so easy. 
But anyway, um, a friend of mine actually had mentioned about the clip on and I was like, hmm, I don't know, you'll be interesting because I mean, I have seen some women, and, but they just put like one piece, you know, for the clip on. But I discovered this brand. Mm. <laughs> you guys will not believe it. And make sure I did actually a tutorial video for them. Maybe not a tutorial, but just kind of talking about it for my followers, for you guys to see. Um, this was like the quickest, <laughs> easiest weave I have never done to my head. I'm telling you guys. So you will see it from the beginning, you know. Um, I wash my hair, I braid my hair, and then I just clip on the style that I want. And then, of course, da -da -da, this is the end result. This is what I did. Eh? How easy is that? I'm telling you guys, it's like a penless. <laughs> you kidding me? I was like, a, hmm, how I didn't think about this one. And guess what? Is irresistible. You probably heard of it. I don't know. But uh, if you haven't, this is them. And I will throw some pictures of it, but I will also put that, uh, you know, quick vlog there for that, uh, you know, little experience that I had with uh, this hair. But this is um, irresistible hair. It's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent, of course, human hair. I'm just pushing you guys. I apologize. So you can have a better view of me. Anyhow. Okay. So this is a little pouch that comes in. So of course, once you have it, it's like, like, oh, is that same? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is all like what I have in my head. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. I'm telling you guys, I just love it. So for this season, if you're there, of course, links below. I will leave the links. And then, you know, guys, um, this is one thing with me. When I discover something, I like trying things first, eh? before I talk about it. Um, and then if I do like it and then I have a good experience with it, why not? I would like to share. And I'm like, oh, can I have a little maybe discount for my followers? They're like, absolutely. Yeah, of course. So I will leave everything um, right below in the description box. And as always, like or comment, you know, and do your own research as well, okay? But uh, this is one of the things that I'm loving. Um, yes, I just want to put it down. And then, of course, I came back. I'm still loving my, uh... <laughs> you remember, guys, before I went to Dubai, I actually got my uh, hoses, my forever hoses. Anytime I see this, and I'm like, oh, I should take another picture of her. Oh, guys, I wish you can smell it. But anytime, anyway, so I love this, of course. And I'm a flower girl. I love, and this is like, especially when the flowers smell so beautiful. Hmm beautiful the color is just oh, perfect so and then i'm okay girls mm. i always love my orchids so i have that um and of course i always move to perfumes and you know guys since i went to dubai i had um i have a bunch of perfumes i mean i, I tell you guys i can open the small you probably seen some of my blog there i can open my small <laughs> little parfumerie huh? for better words but anyway, um, so when I went to Dubai, I took a few perfumes with me that I just felt was appropriate for where I was going. I mean, after all, Le Monde Arabe, eh? hashtag Dubai. Eh? So I know it's going to be maybe hot. You know, it's in the desert, so you never know. I've never been to Dubai. So this was my first time, but I plan everything, guys, accordingly. But anyway, in a little bit, I'll be telling you guys all about Dubai. I'm going to be gushing all about Dubai. Eh? <laughs> But uh, um, as far as the perfumes, this one here is, uh, of course, is a Valentino. Um, is born in Roma, you know. It's one of the latest one. The box is like a lamb green. So if you're shopping around, again, I will leave links below. So if you're shopping for maybe the Valentino, uh, that would be nice. Um, and then you probably seen this too. Neroli by Guerlain. Oh, this one here, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this here was appropriate for the evening. Like I was just going to dinner and then I wanted to, you know, just have something so elegant. And you know, guys, I was in Dubai. I did a lot of solo dining. I, I love things like that. You just dress up and then you go sit down someplace and everybody would think maybe I was a queen or princess from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to fit in. Eh? <laughs> laugh out loud on that one but it's the truth i enjoy i you know um 
I'm very bubbly. I'm very social. Um, trust me, I'm definitely not social awkward. But uh, um, there is a time that I'm an introvert. I like things like that. I like to just be by myself and then enjoy the moment. Yes. And then, of course, as I'm talking about you, I'm going to be throwing some of the places that I stay because I had such a great experience. It was a trip of a lifetime. Uh, I planned this for many, many years. But again, let me continue with my perfumes and then I'll tell you guys. If not, I will carry on and talk, talk, talk. Okay? I appreciate you turning in. And of course, I always say that if this is something for you, if you end to just uh, travel, lifestyle, luxury, you know, lifestyle, luxury items, fashion, then uh, this channel is for you, Nadez style. Of course, like, comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Um, uh, I'm really grateful to you all, especially when you turn in and then you watch me. Um, that's why I like to be um, as uh, authentic, uh, for better words, that I can be. Um, there is no fake this, no fake that, because I just feel like when you generally uh, authentic, People can see through it. Yeah? There is nothing to say this and that. No. Um, I have seen some bloggers some, uh, somewhere. They make it sound like life is so perfect. No, it's not so. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and social media, excessively, and this is just for mental health awareness. And then I'm saying this for a lot of reasons, including myself. You know, you go to things in your life. I don't know about other people, but personally, I don't want to be an open book. So in this platform, it is sharing things that I love. Um, again, and I take advantage of trying to give a little advice and then also to educate myself. So, hey, mental health is uh, real, guys. So with this social media and then people being fake, thinking, making, portraying that everything is all perfect and other people, they go out there and now start thinking, well, no, please. And then there's no such a thing. Life is all, oh, I'm set for life. Oh, really? Mm, okay. If that was the case, <laughs> even the, the wealthiest, the wealthiest people would escape death. You understand? So life is real, guys. Life is real. But I wanted to just throw it out there. Uh, as we're still here for the moment, maybe her turn has now reached yet. Let's enjoy. Let's support each other. Let's be genuine. Let's remain humble. Remain humble, okay? And let's love one another, okay? One love. Bob Marley say that, of course. One love for all of us, regardless, okay? And then, much love for me, Nadez Stark. Hashtag mental health awareness, okay? All right. But, uh, um, so this is the one. And another one that I wanted to talk is another Valentino. Mm. You guys can tell that but now that I love Valentino. And I did, if you look, like the 10 most things that I was loving. I don't know if it was for Christmas or something. Anyway, guys, I talk about so much things sometimes I forget. Uh, one of these days I need to go over all my uh, <laughs> YouTube videos and just kind of go back to it and giving my uh, opinion on all of them. Because some of them I don't remember that I did. Mm -hmm. And this one here is Viva something uh, from, <laughs> you can just tell that. But I love the smell. Um, again, I, I talk about it back in the 10 most things that I'm loving. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Valentino. And of course, you know, when I went to Dubai, the one brand that I wanted to bring with me, also for my perfumes, I think I mentioned it, because uh, I have been using them now for quite some time. It's now almost a year is a dossier you know and i always love dossier um so i did take some with me so i have of course i always have new you know new <laughs> new sense you know and i've been telling a lot of my friends about this guess what the thing with the dossier is not about oh Oh, I don't want any alternative anything no 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 I, personally as you can tell i mean you've seen my blog the mine, the all mine, my perfumes are mine. Um, one thing about like my husband, most of the time when he do give me a little gifts here and there, is always a perfume. So that's why I said I have have tons of perfumes. So when I actually see something like I, I find something that the scent is just perfect, the thing with dossier for like me being in Dubai was perfect. You know why? Because it's very light. It's very light. It's not too much. It's not of. The notes are just perfect for me. 
so i did actually you know get different ones i added to my you know collection let me just look at some of the names because the other ones the names i only use them when i actually uh got to dubai and i was like oh this is actually nice this here aromatic um star anise oh i'm telling you guys so if you're wearing it you nobody gonna said oh what is it most of the time it's like oh wow this smells so nice yeah it's, again it's dossier i like them i didn't tell like all my friends and my family about this <laughs> like i just something quick that uh, if uh, you don't want to you know break the bank out there um and then of course as i've told you guys in the past they actually alternative of most of the high brand you know famous other fragrances that we know out there so if you don't want to break the brand and then have that nice scent this here i'm telling you guys they have so much selection Are you kidding me i will leave the links below always you know i, I like them i like them and you know me i'm a wire to a fault this here is a fruity magnolia this one i did love you know when it just gets very one thing in dubai um believe it or not i'm i live in florida uh and i live in a part of florida where it's not like i'm not close to the beach like that so it gets very humid in uh, uh dubai you might think that so no well again i went during springtime so it was into the summer but like up in the desert it's very breezy even the photos and the videos that i did is all like i'll put some in here so you guys can see my clothes are always like going windy <laughs> like wow because i thought it's so hot you know so i dress like accordingly and i'm like hmm, maybe it's gonna be so burning hot and sweaty my makeup all off and but no guys it's different and then like when it's on down it gets very chilly it's like when i'm here in florida like i'm over in the coast side like miami side where it gets a little breezy but breezy nice breezy you know but anyway so all of these my dossier was perfect for that trip when i went to dubai yes it was indeed anyway so and another thing i like about them of course you know because they always throw in um the little travel size and i told you guys from the beginning yeah, yeah they they come out their concept i guess when um, they make this miniature one is for you to try it to so see if you like it you know they believe in their product so much so if you like it then of course uh, you get to order you know keep the whole uh, you know the full size but for me and i said this before i only like it because of the <laughs> when i travel because i can just keep it in my uh, book i don't want no tsa trying to take my stuff talking about oh no you can bring this no 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 too much incident with the tsa people when you're traveling guys um but this makes sense just to keep it you know and i did travel emirate of course you know business class mm. hashtag emirate <laughs> yeah um you know guys hey it's one life to live you know um so this trip was something that I, I've been planning for a long time and then um, COVID came uh, so I didn't make it and I was like I had some of the vendors sending me things for my boutique because I wanted to go there to meet with some of them and just so I can uh, you know feel it's always good when you're feeling the fabric and then decide on the style of things you want to carry in your boutique um, so but I said you know why after the pandemic God willing you know god's willing that i will definitely make my way here you know to dubai and see and i did yes i'm telling you guys the culture um personally it was not a culture shock because um i mean i grew up in europe so i'm very comfortable with a little bit of the arabian you know the moyen orient the middle eastern lifestyle um so the UAE was definitely very kind to me and then uh, I enjoyed it. I would say shukran luck <laughs> um, for your hospitality. It was very nice. Um, so talking about that and of course, you know, I have on my uh, lipstick. I'm going to just bring you back a little bit closer so you can see me better. So I'll go back a little bit down. Hey, yeah yeah um i actually the lipstick that i'm wearing you know if you guys don't remember 
is my Hermes the long wear. It's my Hermes one. Yeah. So when I went. So you guys, this is what I tell you guys. So um, I shop for things and only things that I know make sense for me personally. Um, my last birthday, all I wanted was lipstick, you know, luxurious lipstick. You know, I have some, but I wanted all I got. Um, Guerlain, all collectible Guerlain, limited edition. Are you kidding me? Yes, I did. Um, of course, the Hermes. And I got, uh, um, who else I got? Givenchy. I got uh, Christian Louboutin. I got so much. It was just, and then this is one of them. Long, long wear, of course. Um, from, uh, you know, Hermes, Maison Hermes, that is. Yeah. So, and of course, while I was in Dubai, I had got my uh, Birkin bag uh, from Hermes, the white one. I even did what is in my uh, Birkin bag. So if you guys haven't got a chance to watch that, then you should watch it out. It's very cool. Um, I came back from my uh, busy day in Dubai, back in my hotel. And by the way, guys, um. I was staying at, uh, well, I stay at three different hotels, I tell you guys. Okay, let's talk about Dubai now. <laughs> let's talk about Dubai, baby. Let's talk about, <laughs> just being silly, guys. But anyway, so when I first got there, because I went there for the um, Expo 2020 Dubai, um, I really wanted to make it, but I was so close to the time, and they only had a few days left, but I did. Uh, so my first stay, I was at... Uh, Damak Maison and funny as far as the real estate goes in Dubai the main main construction company is Emma and then Damak so you will I mean there's other ones but I don't know if they're part of the royal family I'm not sure but everywhere you turn around because I was riding downtown my first day so my first 10 days I was at Damak Maison of course and then I went in an apartment living style you know so you know hotel um Five star, of course. Five star, yeah. Not feeling guilty. <laughs> I'm not making no apology for it. I work hard and I think I deserve it. Yeah. Um, so, Juan, I'm telling you guys, Juan and Business Bay uh, downtown. So, if you've been to Dubai, you know what I'm talking about. Right by the Marina Bay. Yeah, right there. Business Bay. From there, you can also see the Burj, the Burj Khalifa. Yes, not far from uh, Dubai Mall. So, very trendy, even... Close also to the um, the mod, uh, how do you say the museum of the future. You know that one thing looking. But anyway, I throw some pictures here for you guys to see. Um, but it's gonna be quickly because there is a lot. I'm gonna be putting a lot of blogging out there for Dubai. Um, and there is a few of them. I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do uh, when I went to. Of course, um, I did uh, the Burj Khalifa. Yes, I had to do that. I was a VIP guest there. I went all the way to 100 and. 148 floors. You kidding me? Oof. Okay. So I'm gonna share something with you guys. Uh, after I'm doing my filming, you know, nobody but that's the one thing I will tell you guys. The people are so warm and so welcoming. But being a VIP guest at the <laughs> Burj Khalifa was a privilege. Uh, so, but you know, you go up, they give you the little, uh, Arab, you know, Arabic uh, snacks and Arabic coffee. Um, it's total luxurious. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You know, um, it was pretty awesome. But uh, what I wanted to tell you guys, so I decided to use the bathroom there. <laughs> so, you know, the bathroom, the bathroom literally, I mean, everything. I don't know, they use like a uh, wallpaper. Everything looked like a diamond. No kidding. I have some pictures I'm going to throw here. I was so impressed. And I'm like, Anybody even use this bathroom, you know, to be, but again, it's 148. So maybe most likely a lot of people don't maybe reach there because most people, when they're visiting there, they go to 125. It's like being, um, I remember when I did the Empire State Building, you know, in New York, of course. Um, so some people, of course, if you pay based on your, what you paid, you go, you know, and it's the highest. But anyway, it was nice. I mean, from there, you have the 300, you know, like the 360 views, like, Wow. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. That's a must see. If you go to Dubai, of course, you have to visit the, and it's right, you know, it's right by the marina with, uh, you know, Dubai Mall. And then what they do at night also, they have water. Well, it's not just at night. I think it's every half an hour um, for the 
what a show it reminds me of like if you've been to las vegas it's like uh, um at the bellagio you know the at a certain at the bellagio at least at a said maybe it's more around like a five at least when i went to, to you know to las vegas i've seen that and then every now and then like every 15 minutes it comes out you know they do the water show with the nice thing it's, like, it's very cool uh people look forward to that because you see the people at a certain hour they're rushing outside to go look but the mall is so cool it's so nice i'm telling you yeah. talking about luxury kidding me come on now um one side is nothing but uh, name brands any name brand, please if leave me your comments below if you're questioning about do they have this at the Dubai mall? And then I will tell you they do. I, I, I even seen a designer that I don't even like a Pierre Cardin. I'm not saying that now that, well, it's all long gone, you know. But I even seen the standalone boutique for them there. I was like, hmm, wow. Everybody came to Dubai as this is a new city, you know, in the world, of course. Um, but anyway, um, you know what I think. So I stayed there for the then then another thing where I went. Uh, so I did the gold souk. So if you ever visit to Dubai, make sure you do the gold souk because they're well known for gold, eh? correct? Yes, they're well known for gold. So I did the gold souk. Um, that one because it's a traditional market also, but it's all gold. I'm telling you guys. Um, and it, it's no way you can. It's like two hundred and. 78 i believe uh stands is no way even if i was living there it's gonna be a tank every now and then when i go there i do one part of the, but it's no way and i'm gonna be honest i could not do the whole because one minute you go to this and you don't know if you're on the other side because it's so massive anyway but so that was a great experience um i did buy i think in my uh in my thing that i did for john franco Ferrer unboxing I did talk about the um I did talk about I bought myself an anklet there because over there is a 24 carats and I think it was cool and girl I have to tell you it's not cheap. Dubai is not cheap. Dubai is very expensive and for those of you who probably been you know um so with the with the dollars and the dirhams it's just like a, ooh before you know it but um I was I would just say you know the travel American Express came on handy uh hashtag to american express <laughs> international american express uh that's that was great you know you don't have to worry about international fees and so on but uh, um chess the the city itself is just yes and it is a new city it's no comparison uh to me it's like a a small you know like a, a manhattan broad to the middle east yes inside the middle east. <laughs> you know um of course uh, because it's a new you know the newest built so it's a little bit different compared to new york you know new york but new york has its style come on new york will always be new york and dubai will also always be new york so there's really no comparison i'm just talking about how literally when you're there you see in new york literally i can see like sometimes i can see the sky you know I well, guess what? Dubai is the same thing. I couldn't tell where is what <laughs> the sky because throughout the day sometimes it's just gloomy and then the sun is out. So I can't comprehend that one. But uh, anyway, so I did that and of course um, I had to do the red dunes, you know, the desert. And you guys will see that. I have a nice blog for that. Uh, the red dunes is like a full day on. Well, not maybe full day, but about two o'clock. Most tour companies will uh, will pick you up at your hotel, wherever you are, at your location, put it that way. And then they take you, you know, they take you over and then um, for you to go do what you have to do. Um, the other thing that I have to say, I was tempted to kind of bring a photographer because I wanted to do nice shots while I was there. But I have I have my tripod. <laughs> my tripod was like my best friend and I'm glad that I didn't hire a, a photographer when I was there. You know why? Because... A lot of the people are very friendly enough and with the laws in the middle east you don't have to worry about anything anybody you know chiefing you for anything i'm not saying about again i was in the more upper class thing so i'm not saying that people will not be dishonest but uh, um i didn't need to do a lot of things so i did i ride a camel mm, i have a back problem because um many years ago i was involved in a car accident and then i left my back kind of painful <laughs> so from time to time i do feel the pain and then riding the camel i have to tell you guys so if you have a back problem maybe not a good idea 
and then um, they use the land closer, you know, the Toyota land closer. And what they do, they deflate the tires a little bit because they go into the, the dunes. Another thing, if you have a weak stomach, don't do it because it can make you kind of like a toe up or something. Because you go, I mean, I want to show you guys the video. It goes, so if you in there, you're like, are we going to crash or something? So if you're terrified, then definitely that's not an experience for you. But it is awesome. In the middle of nowhere. Oh, God's creation. I'm telling you guys. A monster sea. A monster sea. Uh, me, I never, I mean, I've been to Las Vegas and stuff, but I never seen the desert, like where, I'm talking about the red dunes, where like, you're in the middle of nowhere, very windy. Somebody, I posted a picture of me, actually I did a whale uh, for my experience there, and somebody did, oh, you still have oil and dark clothes, and I'm saying to myself, hmm, okay, maybe they don't know. <laughs> I say, believe it or not, it's breezy here, because you're in the middle of some place, and it gets very windy. And guess what? The desert doesn't stay. You know, like how you go to the beach, you're walking on the sand, and then you can feel, and you go back to your vehicle sometime, the sand, you have to rinse it off. It's not the same thing with the, you know, desert. It's, uh, um, you touch it, it's just like, it goes away, your feet are back clean. I'm like, oh, wow. God, you are amazing, I must say. <laughs> I know you are but you just you were an amazing god that's all i got to say but anyway um so i did that and then of course oh you know visiting the city eating i was a bit disappointed in the food because um of course me being an american and going in the middle east i was expecting i'm very open to uh different cuisine um i didn't the only thing i ate really i have to tell you guys uh the biryani, biryani, I don't know. Please correct me if I'm saying wrong. The Indian rice, you know, I cook the Indian with the curry and different things. Yeah, I discovered that it was near my first hotel was staying downtown. Uh, that's the only time I could eat good. Every time I ordered, everything was American, American. I'm like, oh, I came here, I want you to show me what you have, you know? So that one, and then when I did order some of the Arabic, there's another place that is very popular, um, is right in a, in a marina. A business day um i ordered because i was like uh, uh the kebab shish kebab shish kebab um and then i wanted just like the non bread and stuff like that mm, it was just okay so food wise um is a thumbs down for me um because i didn't want to eat really american when i was there you know the idea i wanted to eat arabic and stuff but anyway um then of course for my hotel i move over to Mm. <laughs> I'm sure by now you already know if you follow me on social media you probably seen it and I have to give them thumbs up this is for five palm Jumeirah who you kidding me yes talking about super top top class um five palm Jumeirah is a place to be very trendy uh this place is always lit <laughs> when you're there yes 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 um is of course it's not far from uh the Burj Al Arab, okay, yeah, um, and then the Palm Jumeirah is uh, one of the prominent neighborhoods uh, in Dubai, of course. So for those of you who have been or who probably just watch things, yes, Palm Jumeirah, very nice, very trendy. Uh, but I stay at five Palm Jumeirah. Oh, hashtag to five Palm Jumeirah. I have to tell you guys, um, I actually reserve like a. A deluxe uh, room there, but uh, when I got there, they say no, Miss Natasha Wilson, we're gonna actually upgrade you. You're in the apartment. Oh my goodness! So I stay in the apartment over there at the Far Palm Jumeirah, and this is a five star, top notch. I'm telling you guys, I had a blast. I loved it. Um, I've been gushing about it, posting everywhere. That's because I love it. Uh, Hey, this is at the Five Palm Jamera. Your hospitality was exceptional, exceptional. And then me here at Nadestal did appreciate it very much. And of course, until the next time, yes. Um, only God knows, maybe I will come again. Shukran. <laughs> yes, I will come again. Um, I will say maybe, um, inshallah, inshallah, I shall come back to Dubai and I shall visit Five Palm Jamera. Yes. Yes, and of course I will leave links below because I thank you guys if you want to really have that experience That's another place trust me 
Yes. Bam, bam, Jumeirah. <laughs> yeah, very cool, very trendy. Um, I did a cool photo shoot there. Um, I had nice dining experience there at uh, because they have numerous restaurants on the premises. Just beautiful. Anyway, I'm not going to say much about it because I will have a blog out there for it. Um, so you can follow, of course, and I will leave the links below. Um, and then throughout all of this, and I did, of course, visit the Mall of Emoid. You guys, that's another mall. Oh my God, the My Mall, the Mall of Emoid. You can keep up with them. And then from time to time, I was taking the train because uh, the train system, believe it or not, is a very um, organized. Eh? It's very organized and clean. And they have um they have actually different wagons for like a uh, woman with kids and pregnant um woman so men cannot ride in those so if you standing there wearing at the station wearing for the train make sure you're paying attention because they do find you for different things like of course with the mask you have to wear your mask at all time when you're in there and then if you don't have your mask they tell you also watch my blog because i'm gonna have that blog for um uh, my Dubai blog, you have to see it. Oh, it's so nice. I think I capture everything, guys. I wanted to make sure because um, it's not a cheap trip. I have to admit, it's not a trip. So, but I organize everything in a way where is a, I have to use the time to build the content for my channel. And then I did. So every minute, every second, every hour meant something to me while I was in Dubai, I must say. You know, when I get up to go to the gym, of course, I didn't want to miss going to the gym while I was there. Yeah, I had it because I'm staying in all of these beautiful places. They have the gyms or like, oh, guys, you kidding me? Come on now. Yeah, so I wanted to keep up to that certain lifestyle, of course, that I'm always used to back home. Um, so I did that. And then what I said, so, hmm, last but not least, I want to talk to you guys. Um going to dubai is a new city everybody just have a concept everybody are wealthy everybody are this everybody that. Ah, yeah yeah it's normal like if you're in the u.s i mean i live in the u.s where you also have <laughs> a lot of wealthy people but uh, um also just uh, the experience and i said uh, i remember asking someone and i said you know i came to dubai it's all nice like uh, um I didn't come to a country where I don't have a lot of things that, you know, nice stuff like a five-star hotels here and there. I live in a, even in a city where there's too many five-star hotels. Orlando, Florida, that is. If you guys know that's where Disney World is, so you know there is tons of five-star hotels. No. What I wanted to see while I was in Dubai, I said, I want to see the old Dubai. I want to feel how, you know, how it all started. I want to see from how they started to be what it is now. Because it was all nice going here, fancy, and then, no. So, I reserved myself another, is a five-star, but in the old Dubai. And you know where that is? It's right in Dubai. But there is a section of it where they actually kept the old Dubai which mean is Al-Sif. Al-Sif, and then please correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but I think that's what it is, Al-Sif, is A-L, it's two words. The second word is uh, Sif. So S-E-E-F, and the first word is A-L. Al-Sif, um, they kept everything like, I'm telling you, it's like you in Morocco, eh? like Marrakech, uh, put it that way. It looks very... Um, very much i was all started as a fishing town because that's what it is but you know who built the hotels there hilton i stay at the curio uh everything but that's me you see that's what i tell you guys i don't it's not uh, yeah, yeah, yeah i get up in the morning it's all that uh, no when i when you want to visit a place you still want to feel also that uh, you can uh, feel the old way uh, everything became what it is I stay in the home and then you guys um, i did like a full blog for that because i thought they did deserve there where my hotel was downstairs is all traditional market all the long vendor and then you know it was during ramadan so when they do that uh, you know i don't know i am um, when the mosque the mosque make the you know the sound i think every hour every other hour it goes ah, la, la, la. so you can hear that 
it and be like, this is so cool. Yeah, I did a cool, cool blog. I walk around and then guess what? I wore my, uh, you know, my caftan, you know, looking apart a little bit out of respect, you know. Um, again, it's something you have uh, to do. You go visit a place. Uh, I didn't want to walk around looking any kind of way. And it, that's not me anyway. Uh, I don't carry myself a certain way. You guys can tell. Uh, not to brag about it, but... Uh, um, and then to look a certain way, you don't have to spend arm and a leg. No, I'm just talking about looking decent. And uh, exceptionally when you go to places where you still have to respect their culture, their religion, you know, reason and just for being a woman that you are so if you are really a true lady you keep you know you carry yourself in certain manner not wearing things all the hardships and stuff but anyhow um <laughs> that's another conversation for another time um and i'm only mentioning it because i've seen some things in dubai also and i was like a little bit shocked uh because yeah um yes it's more modern maybe they might not really be as strict as maybe other muslim countries but uh, um just for me personally, the way I am, I, I would not see myself carrying myself in a certain way. Obviously, if I don't do it at home, why would I do it in a foreign country? And, uh, and of course, of all places, where in Dubai, you know. Um, so you present yourself because people will actually uh, treat you the way you present yourself. Yeah, I'm just saying. So, but I had that experience at uh, Al Sif. Um, truly, it's like being in a different country, but it's right there in the middle of it. Uh, I'm sure I've, I've watched blogs. A lot of people don't take time to go to that. You should have because it is the coolest place. The homes, they still use the farmer's lamp. Remember, it's by, uh, it's by Hilton. So this is not, uh, yeah, it's, uh, they're trying to keep the same concept. But you have that natural, like, oh my God, I want to just, oh, it's like I'm somewhere in a different era. Yeah. It was very nice. I surely, surely enjoy it. And then even the coffee, the way they make it, you make your coffee, they made it all. If you really want to feel it, so they made it just like that. Like the old school way. The old school way. Everything was very really traditional. And I love that. It was authentic. That one, I have to say. That one, hands up to Dubai for doing that. Preserving that history right there. And that culture because that's what it is and that's how it's all you know started yeah of course um and then you guys know what i'm gonna talk about i was not gonna leave dubai without going to <laughs> i think everybody will remember when uh, um back uh sex in the city too and then the girls went to the so-called, they went to Abu Dhabi. Oh, of course, I had to go to Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I was not going to leave Dubai without visiting Abu Dhabi. So I went to Abu Dhabi. Oh, well, you know, it's a, it's a capital. So uh, Abu Dhabi is a little bit different, but I wanted to see the Grand Mosque. Again, I will throw some of this. What an experience. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. And you know, my mom who's now long gone, uh, decades now, uh, mama, je t'aime bien. And this trip, I think was a tribute uh, to my mom because my mom used to always talk about it before, of course, and I'm talking uh, more than two decades and my mom died. So when Dubai just started, you know, my mom was into big, of course, businesses and stuff. So this was something she always said, oh, un jour, un jour à Dubai. I, and then I remember I was, you know, very young and then I never forget that, that my mom lived not long enough to make it to Dubai. So when I went to Dubai and then, I, I mean, of course, I had her in my mind. I'm always thinking about my mom. God bless her soul. But when I went to Abu Dhabi, as I was going there, um, it's an hour and maybe 20 minutes. They say it's an hour and a half. But of course, uh, you know, it was pretty nice. Um, throughout my whole trip, I was just praying and I said, I hope mom that you are around with me uh, to experience this because I'm doing this for you. And then the fact that, excuse me guys, the fact, the fact that my mom lived, you know, and died in a very tragic way. And my, dad, my mom died very young, that she didn't have a chance. That's why I tell you guys, live your life. Do not put things off. If you are actually able to, please, um, I mean, like I tell my husband all the time, I say, I work too hard. I can't just sit here and then keep putting things up or I do it tomorrow and I do it this. 
and no one is promised tomorrow. And I can see both my mom and dad die very young. So I don't know about my, uh, you know, my life, how it's going to be. So, but again, just as a child, when you think about your parents leaving you when you're still young, my mom, when my mom died, I was only 18 years old. Um, today I'm a grown woman and I'm kind of, everything that I have accomplished, that's because I always keep them in my mind. And I'm like, everything that I'm doing, I want to make you proud, mom. I want to make you proud. I want to make you proud, dad. So, and this is for me going to visit the grand mosque. Excuse me, guys. This was, uh, um, a lifetime. Uh, while I was there, I just said, you know, mom, I really, you here, this trip, this is a gift to you. And I hope you came along <laughs> in spirit, you know, to experience this because the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi is a mosque. See, I'm not kidding. It is out of this world. It is indeed out of this world. Yes. Um, women cannot go in without uh, their head being covered all over. Yes. Um, <laughs> I will just say in French, I say, Ce qui ne veut pas dire que tu es radicalisé, hein? Non, 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 hein? It's not like you, you converted to <laughs> Islamic, no, no. They just, at that moment, out of respect. And me, I agree with that 100%. So, of course, um, I did buy uh, an Abaya special. Uh, while I went to visit the gold souk, I made sure that I did buy, because I did buy some merchandise from my boutique also, because I do have clients. I don't know if you also remember, just to back up qu quickly, I did a blog about special luxurious abayas so when i was in uh, like a gold souk i found very luxurious i'm talking about arabian clothing yes yeah, so for my boutique so uh, because i do have those special clients that uh, like that type of fashion um so i did buy myself one and then if you have been seeing and i'm gonna throw a little video here so you guys can see but it was amazing my experience at the grand mosque in abu dhabi was amazing when i say amazing is an understatement it's amazing. The place, it is immaculate, beautiful. I don't know how long I need to research, I think, because I'm doing, a, I did a blog for it. So I need, I'm going to put you, when they started to work and then the end the result, are the finishing up and stuff. It's just amazing. The only thing I didn't get a chance, I wanted to go see, you know, Formula One. The, <laughs> I didn't get a chance because, again, you see, time of essence. Um, but I had a nicer, uh, you know, visit in downtown Abu Dhabi. I went over to the side. Um, it's also like a marina looking, you know, uh, mall. They have a marina mall. That one actually is not far from the palace for the other border. You know, the other, you know, uh, Sheikh, I forgot. They're all a different name. Um, but not, I think it's Sheikh Mohammed, you know, Sayed uh, brother who lives in Abu Dhabi. And funny, the money... Um, over there, if you watch actually what I have in my broken bags, I do have different um, money from, uh, uh, you know, the Durams. So when I was in Abu Dhabi, it's still Durams, but you can see the image on it is for that, you know, king over there and another king in Dubai. They're the fa all family, of course. But anyway, uh, just me, because I remember sitting in my living room watching uh, like Sex in the City 2 and then Cynthia making a fun. So I did a closing on my... Um, Grand Mosque, um, Abu Dhabi, I was like, Abu Dhabi, B. <laughs> because St. Nixon, you know, in the Sex and the City actually made that land, but I thought that was so cute. Um, so I added that, it was such an experience. So some places you cannot film, uh, and they will tell you this here is better, you know, there is always signs where you can take better pictures, and you know, because the marble is so immaculate, look at that, immaculate. They constantly have somebody going, you know, cleaning up everywhere. Um, then um, is certain times, of course, because of the prayers, they will let you go in. And then with the religion tourism, is very serene, very quiet. Are you kidding me? You just feel like such a space. And I did. And just like my mom, she did like which I may also because this was really a trip of a lifetime. But guys, um, I don't know. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, to listen to me uh, for doing this uh, Dubai uh, recap and things that I'm loving. Um, it's been awesome. I mean, I still have a full-time job, so it's not easy. 
Um, I came back full on just working. You know, I'm a wife, I'm a mommy. So it is like a lot of, I wear a lot of hats. Are you kidding me? You know, I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm, I've been trying to make changes to a lot of things, the businesses that I have. Um, trying to structure in a way where maybe I can just concentrate on that and, for, you know, put my focus on that. Um, I have many more trips. Oh, I have a full calendar. Are you kidding me? Um, I have a full calendar, but only God knows. Um, this like was one of them and then it's been accomplished. So hopefully in the next few months, the other ones you guys will see. Just watch and see uh, what I'm going to accomplish. And whenever I accomplish it, and, you know, I put it in the pipeline and talk about it, you know, all of that. So um, it was a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Um, I'm back, of course. And I have to tell you guys, I mean, I went to Dubai, came back, I feel fine. Um, the, the holes, of course, the mask, all of that, even in the airplane. 16 hours of flight to Dubai, non-stop, with a mask on. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So, traveling in the comfort, very important. I'm just saying, um, it's not, uh, um, I mean, they have other airlines that go to, to Dubai, but I flew Emirates, you know. Um, that's how I do it, hashtag travel <laughs> travel blogger you know lifestyle uh, blogger fashion lover to the max yeah i love fashion that's me um i buy uh, unique pieces pieces that make sense so that's me but again um if you did enjoy this video guys if you did enjoy this video like comment share don't forget to subscribe okay um we've been doing great you know it's because of you guys we've been doing great it is an awesome a platform where you can share again it's all about being authentic and genuine and humble um i wish you guys all the best more to success continue success for this year of course we still have a lot more months to go with this year so um i did enjoy this time if you did turn in to like uh, you know to watch me of course that's all I have for today. And then, as always, à très bientôt. Au revoir.